guys, what's going on? It's Savage here, and today I'm coming at you with another Madden 18 Ultimate Team video, and something I see in the comments is, yo, Savage, how do I run as good as you? How do you run the ball so effectively? And I'm going to tell you right here, fellas, smack that like button. Let's try to get 400, 500, 600 likes on this video. That would be a blessing. I really, really am appreciating all the support. So, I mean, every like counts. Every like is beautiful. It's wonderful. Thank you all so much for the support on the videos. And with all of that a lovely mumbo jumbo being said, I'm going to be real with you guys that I don't really think O-line and tight end really matter too much. Even your full... Well, you might want to just a fast fullback just so he can get in front of the running back because I like to run out of under center sets. But for the most part, it actually comes down, in my opinion, this year. Now, this is just an opinion, but this is what I've, I've done the most with is, is using bigger framed running backs, such as Latavius Murray, such as Christian McCaffrey, such as Ty Montgomery. Marshall Falk is a little exception, but for the most part, you want to focus on a running back, in my opinion, who's like six foot. The reason is, is because I'm sure you guys always see how many freaking broken tackles there are. There's so many broken tackles. And what makes it harder for a person to tackle somebody else? Well, their, bo their body size, how big they are. And Latavius Murray is a perfect example of somebody who is huge. Now, am I saying Latavius Murray is the best back in the game? No, but from my style of play, because you guys ask how I run so successfully, from my style of play, I like to use running backs who are at least six foot. Oh, uh, you can see Ty Montgomery, six foot. Christian McCaffrey, six foot. It's still Latavius Murray, six foot three, giving him that overall overpowering strength over most positions on the field because if he's one-on-one -on -one with like a cornerback odds are he's so big he'll be able to just shove off of him unless it's like a really really elite tier corner but with all that being said fellas we are gonna hop into a game like i said smack that like button and without further ado let's get this w now guys before we obviously hop on offense but right now we're on defense i don't want you guys to think oh my god this video is savage telling me to go buy these players or, wow i just missed that gap wow Wow, I just missed that gap completely. That was all my fault right there. But I don't want you guys to obviously think like, oh my God, if I don't have this player or if I don't have like this type of running back, I'm never going to be able to run the ball as good as Savage. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying in my scheme, what I do, I like to have bigger, stockier running backs because I feel like in general, they are just harder to bring down this year. I feel like over the years, we've all played. We've all, I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys, obviously, this isn't your first Madden, but if it is, um, I'm going to let you guys know that over the years, it has been more or less the meta to have a shorter running back who's, who's quote-unquote lower to the ground and quicker and has more elusive moves than, you know what I mean? Just, just a general quick cut, one cut running back. But this year, I feel like the bigger running backs can cut just as good. I just feel like since juking and spinning is so OP... Why have a short running back when you can have a big running back? A running back that not only is going to be really hard to tackle, have the same juke moves and same spin move as somebody who's 10 times shorter than him, but why not have a hybrid running back who can do it all? Catch, who can go out, make 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 plays across the middle of the field, can do all the above. Right, that's an incompletion, I'm thinking. That looks like an incomplete. Is that an incomplete? Yes, let's go. Why have a running back that, that's short, low to the ground, might, might, might be able to get popped and fumbled because of how little he is? When you can go out and have a hybrid running back, like a Latavius Murray, like a David Johnson, like a, even a um, Christian McCaffrey, Ty Montgomery, those are just to name a few. Because I remember at Madden 16, Dre Archer was one of the most favored running backs in the game, and he was a, like a bronze card, but he was just fast, he was short, he was quick, he had all of the abilities that you wanted out of a running back in that Madden. But now with how OP stuff is, I just feel like we might be turning the tide, and we think I think big running backs are the wave this year. Normally, when I am running the football, I don't try to really like, you know, spin, juke, do all that. If I have a straight line, I'm taking a straight line. I have some people, they like to try to be extra, but like, if I, look, I don't have to spin. I don't have to do no, I ran straight and he's gone. He's gone. See you later. And it's just all about obviously following your blocks too. Now, ready right here. Oh, I tried to, now nah, right there, I tried to get a little cocky so I could show off to you guys. But as you can see, I took a straight line. I didn't do anything extra. I ran. I followed the line that God gave me. And honestly, another really good thing about the big running backs, one-on-one -on -one tackles 10 times harder. If he's on a corner, a corner is most likely going to get run over by him. If he is getting one-on-one -on -one tackled, odds are, if he go is going down, he will fight three yards, which I really, really like. And just because of how big he is. Now, right there, see, look at him. Look at him. That's two, three people. Three people. He's still, he's showing the ability. I just didn't click the right button. He's showing his ability that he can run through not one person, not two people, but even three people, which is something that, and now look, Christian McCaffrey's in right now. Another great example of a big bat. Look at him. Look at him. Fighting for every yard. That is what you want out of running backs. And I really think that this year, it's all about it. You guys got to check it out. Now, like I, like I said, I don't want you guys to think, oh my God, if I don't buy these players, I'm going to suck. I'm not going to be able to run the ball. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion, what I see whenever I play Madden, what I, what's going on and stuff, and exactly 
what I do and, and how I succeed so well. I don't like to do anything too fancy. I don't like to. I don't juke ever. I never juke. I spin if I have to. But for the most part, I run north and south. Never try to go east and west. And that is how you could really dominate in the run game. It's looking like he's going for it now. Right here, I'm gonna act like I'm, I'm gonna act like we're playing in the box. But really, I'm gonna be playing right over the top right over the top there's a sack fumble sack fumble picked it up desmond trufon baby down at the 31 yard line let's get lat going I guess that was all me maybe i threw that a little too late i don't know but um yeah we're gonna try this one more time we're actually gonna try to get him we're gonna try to get the middle of the field wide open actually so we're gonna try this really really fast gonna see gonna see gonna see got the middle of the field that's me that's a dot touchdown let's get it delaney walker touchdown savage kind of like that a lot actually i just want to see what he's doing man second and ten now let's see Let's see what he's doing. Is he going to run it, maybe? Is he going to run stretch? He could run stretch to the outside. No stretch. Don't see no stretches right there. Don't see no stretches. But there's that. There's this. Okay, we're over here. We're over here. We got everything bodied. Everything's bodied. Tyra, let's go, baby. The Honey Badger. Honey Badger with a pick. Honey Badger with a spin. Okay, Honey Badger with another spin. There it is. Open field. Open field. Hit him with another spin. Hit him with another spin. Oh, my God. Dog. 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 Bet. Oh. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. Oh, no. That was so. Oh, my God. Dog, I just danced with that dude. I just can't even handle that return with Honey Badger, bro. Dog, that was something out of a movie. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Now, let's see what we got right here. Oh, my God. What did I just bring up? What was that? Was that that precision passing crap? Let's go. Delaney. Ah, bad throw. Bad play. That's all good, though, man. I'm having a good time, yo. Honey Badger's pick got me in. Please do it, man. Fourth and four. Fourth and four. Can we get the heat? Can we get the heat in? Can we get the heat in? Is that hot in the oven? Oh, Kerrigan. Kerrigan, what are you doing? Why did Kerrigan back up? No, he's going to score. Dog, Dion, Dion, Dion with the touchdown save and tackle. Wow, Kerrigan kind of just let me down. He could go to his cute little check downs all day. He could go to the cute little check downs. Got to watch this. Got to watch the angle route concept right here. Got to wait for it. Got to wait for it. There's the angle route crashing on it. That's a pick though. Dion Sanders. Let's get it, baby. I'm going out three, four out Tampa two over and over again. I mean, truthfully, yes, I could dot this defense up, but is that the point of this video? No, because we all know, we all know I could dot the defense up. It doesn't matter how we dot the defense up. It's right there falling forward for the extra yardage. This is Latavius Murray. I'm here to just show you guys running the football with a big guy, and I hope that you guys have at least learned. Run north and south. Don't try to do anything that you don't need to do. Never unnecessarily spin. Never unnecessarily juke. All right, now I'm going to dot this guy up because he's really pissing me off in this cover too. But for the most part, just just play smart when you run the football and and in my opinion do i really do i 100 percent think that investing in a taller running back is good absolutely one-on-one -on -one tackles just makes it a lot harder for the defense even if it's a user tackle sometimes you just get lucky and you'll bounce off of an animation or something but i mean all in all all right watch this look at 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 this aggressive catch there it is okay never mind but no most of all you just want to you just you just want to go out and you want to run north and south. You don't want to ever really run east and west in this game. Um, I feel like the, the the most time fumbles happens with running backs is when you try to go from like left and try to do like a quick turn to the right because you get bopped and you're not really ready for it. So in my honest to God opinion, if you just stick to north and south running, trying to run through people and not like, you know, around. Oh, look at this. Look at this. DeAndre. DeAndre. You know, that's all you really got to stick to doing. Um, and yeah, I, I think you guys are going to be 100% better at running after you watch this video. Here we go, man. We're going to just run it to the right. And we're going to play this smart. We're going to play it really tough. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, dude, Ryan Kerrigan just body slammed my butt right there. I'm going to just go for it fourth and two. I mean, we already won this game. This guy really ain't nothing special. So we're going to just go for it. I think I could get another touchdown out of this. I think I might be able to quick read him off that seam, like high key. I really, really believe so. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Dot. Oh, is he going to crash on that? Wow, Eric Berry with the play. That was a big play for Berry. All right, you know what? I applaud that, but we still won. I mean, realistically, like, that was just, like, a really good play by Eric Berry. I actually did not think Berry was going to jump that. I, I got way too, way too, way too, way too ahead of ourselves right there. But good play by Desmond Trufant cutting off that play. Oh, he's two for ten. Like, <laughs> get out of here. All right, guys, after constantly running out that clock. Oh, my God, that was a long game. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this educated you a little bit. I know it wasn't a crazy high scoring game, but I just wanted to break down why I like to use bigger running backs this year. And I hope it helps you out with your run game. If you enjoyed, smack a like on the button. Comment down below who your running back is. And if you're going to buy any new ones, subscribe if you're not going to press your knife.